Welcome back to the channel. We are here once again with Not Adele, which is my YouTube and PC. Call it Not Adele, because it's Not Adele. This guy's what renders all the videos and all the stuff like that. And pretty soon it's going to become our capture PC too, for capturing footage from other machines as we're working on them. And that is the goal of today's video, is to get this Evermedia Live Gamer GC573 card plugged into the thing and get it up and going. This card is not new on the market. It is not that expensive. I think it was about 200 bucks but it should be a big upgrade from what we were doing, which is this $15 USB capture device that our Project HP absolutely hates. So it's gonna be nice to move on up and get something that hopefully it does not hate or it, we can determine we have an issue with the HP. This will also be nice for doing some other things too, like plugging game consoles and stuff into this thing shouldn't be any trouble at all. I'm unlikely to do a lot of video game streaming, at least not in the near future. But maybe someday and that's actually what this card is more intended to do but it should be the bee's knees for what we want it to do as well so first things first let's get it out of the box and see if we can even figure out what we're working with here box within a box within a box boxception there is our card see anything too surprising so far no big pieces sticking out of it that's good news code for some software that I probably won't use, an instruction manual I'm probably not going to read, you know, the normal stuff. So our next move should just be to take our case side off, plug the card in. Really shouldn't be a whole lot more to it. And on my motherboard, it looks like we're going to have to go for this card slot. It looks like it's a combination slot. I'm going to have to break out one of my card positions in my case. That guy right there is going to have to go. Not a big deal. Get my Wi-Fi antennas out of my way will make my life a little bit easier. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I guess. Breaking these things out can be done with various amounts of grace. This one is already loose. Should also mention this is a really cheap case, meaning dollars and quality. So keep that in mind as I'm doing this. This kind of stuff will often be sharp too. It's a good time to mention, I'm just assuming that's a combination slot, because it looks like it is. I don't actually know what I'm doing. God forbid I look it up. I do want to make sure it's actually lined up correctly. It is. And it's in. Okay, cool. These are just spare screws that I put there from when I built the case. I will grab one, move it over to secure our card. And there we go. That's that. So our next move is just boot the thing up and see if smoke comes rolling out. I'm also now seeing this Wi-Fi slot cover is not getting along with the configuration of the antenna versus the HDMI ports on that card. I don't know if it's going to be a problem. It looks like just barely no. We should be able to get away with that. In the long run, I kind of want to go to better antennas than that anyway, but today this is what we're doing. If it's not clear to you, there's an HDMI in and an HDMI out on this card, so it passes signal through it. So the idea is you would plug in the thing you want to record on one side and then your display out on the other side, and the card's in the middle capturing the signal. At least that's what we're going to hope happens. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if smoke comes pouring out of it. No smoke, but flashy lights. Just like clockwork, my current crappy capture device is not working. So any sort of on-screen displays we weren't going to be getting. Finally, we're there. However, I'm betting the blinking red light nonstop is bad news for whatever's going on. Let's see if that suspicion is correct. Oh yeah, real pissed. Well, it's here. Let's see if we can do this the easy way. Mm, apparently not. <sighs> Shouldn't have jinxed myself saying I wasn't going to read the directions. I think this is the first piece of hardware I've seen in probably 10 years that didn't just install itself. As I suspected, the directions were just as useless as I thought they would be. Okay. It's not working real well. I suppose I could just hit the big red button that says download this one. Okay. Sure. Okay. All right. Still have flashing red light on the card. Oh, detecting. Okay, so it knows it's here. Okay, settings. Sounds good. Why is it? I'm not really sure what that installation update button did, but it's taking a while. 
Oh, wow. Okay. We're doing things. <clears throat> oh, driver installer. Good. That's what we want to see. Car doesn't blink in red anymore. It's now like green and yellow. And now it's blue. Maybe it's just going to... Oh, it's just colors of the rainbow now. Like that. Just changing colors whenever it feels like it. Apparently, that's something I can also control through their software. I'm not sure if it's this software or another one, but whatever. My preference would be off. Not really into the whole LEDs thing, but there you go. <sighs> okay, I always love installing new software and being told to install new software. Are we maybe updating firmware on the card? I don't know. Whatever. Just going to let it do its thing. Oh, duh. Firmware update. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. We will power off. In the looks of things, power off just means power off. I will power it back on myself, I guess. There we go. Card is quick blinking red. Oh, this changed colors again. Just as soon as I reach for the camera, things happen. It's doing the rainbow's color thing. It looks like we're thinking about something. Um, yeah, let's continue the installation. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. And this is their proprietary software that I really hope I don't have to use. I would prefer to use OBS. This is what will let me turn the lights off at least. Okay, I'll go ahead and launch it. Huh. Is it going to let me? I guess so. There is indeed no signal. This thing just idling is using a third of the CPU. Impressive. It defaulted the quality to 4K, which I don't want. Here we go. That's more like it. That's better. Where do I go to turn the freaking lights off? Why did I bother to do that? I'm hoping to not record with it anyway. I do want to turn the lights off. Oh, NUR settings. Hmm. Lighting. There we go. Off. There we go. Good. No more lights. I know that'll disappoint a lot of you, but not what I'm into. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time I'll actually use this software. Yeah, Windows is now saying 1% CPU utilization with that software closed. Let's fire off OBS, which is what I plan to use. Yeah, we'll make this a little less visual cancer for you guys that don't know what it looks like normally, but video capture device, create new. Okay, sweet, picked it up right away. So OBS sees it no sweat. Well, let's plug something into it and see if it actually captures it. Okay, so I just plugged the Dell from hell into it. Let's power it up. We should see something happen. Boom! That is correct. There was no keyboard plugged into the Dell, so it's probably unhappy about that. This is weirdness, though. Because the Dell is sitting here just continually up. Oh! Guess we're going to be updating some firmware. Okay. Probably has something to do with the capture card not keeping a lot with things. Anyway, yeah, see the capture card's gonna work just fine. In other events, this is OBS on OBS. So I have another computer recording the recording computer. Good times, good times. Okay then, I guess firmware updates that I suppose I authorized are done. It did just occur to me that I now have two machines both powered up with what I suspect to be the same Windows license, which is not something I'm intentionally trying to do. I'm just waiting for it to ask so I can give it another license. But it may not like that in the long run. I do not like how it keeps dropping out like that. We will learn more about whether or not that's actually a problem in the coming days, I suppose. But right now, I'm just going to shut it down and get it out of my way. Because I think we're about to put a fork in this video. And there you have it. We're just a case side away from being completely done with this. I know this is kind of a weird one that really only content creators and streamers would probably be interested in. But it is a community of us out there, and if I can help somebody else out with a video like this, I certainly will. Some of you are just kind of interested in this stuff just because you are. It's a weird card that you would probably never see otherwise. And since the whole formation of this entire machine was on YouTube and for YouTube, 
Anytime a big hardware change like this comes along, I'll probably just give an update on it because why not? It was born here. Someday it'll probably die here too. Well, let's be honest. I've got a graveyard of old PCs that aren't dead. They're just sitting around. So it'll just, you know, be weight I carry around my whole life. You guys know how it is. Speaking of how it is, it's the end of this video. Appreciate you guys stopping in for it. We will catch you on the next one.